So, Han and I are a golf couple, but this might be the power couple over here, man. This guy right here, a uh, hundred years ago, we played together in Dubai, yeah. the Mina Tour. And now he shows up with this stud, so. We both did really well, I must say. We, we did really well, both of us. I'm here with Olivia Cowan. This is her first year on the LPGA Tour. Tell me a little bit about your experience so far and how you got here. Um, it's good. It's very different to the LET. Um, a lot more going on and yeah but it's really exciting it's something new a new challenge um so ready to get started this year so this is your third event right yes and how was last week i know you were in hawaii so that's a big change yeah <laughs> how is it different conditions wise and strategy wise for you than the let is it pretty much the same um no i would say probably the the pins are a lot more difficult out here so you have to kind of know where to hit it like sometimes you just want to place it in a specific area mm. wherever the pin is and just two part and get out of there so i'd say in that sense it is a bit more difficult um well, was quite windy so that was tough last week <laughs> to deal with that um but yeah i think i'm coping well with it i'm just trying to get used to like the differences mm -hmm. um but yeah We'll it's a see. little learning curve. It is, it is, yeah. Good. So tell me about what you're most looking forward to this year on the LPJ. Um, probably just seeing a lot of places that I would probably never go to otherwise. Um, yeah, just traveling around the US, seeing what it's like. Is it a little weird? Like, I know playing junior golf, this is what all of us look forward to. Is it a little weird seeing yourself on TV and everything and reaching that top tier? Yeah, it's kind of weird being here. I think I'm a bit more used to it now in my third event, but like my first event, I was just walking around. like <laughs> I was like so lost. <laughs> I was like asking everyone who I know. I was like, why do I go here? What do I do there? It's just very different. That must be tough in your first year, just getting settled, like yeah. knowing where you want to be, what time you want to do everything. Is yeah. that a big part of it, like setting yeah, your routine? Yeah, definitely. There are a lot of changes on this tour than on the LET, a lot more to think about. And I think it's good when you know some people out here that you can always lean on and like ask a million questions if you need to. So I'm lucky I have that, um, people that were good friends of mine that are on this tour that can help me out when I need it. Let's talk about what's in the bag. I saw you have the X STX driver mm -hmm. and you also have an extremely high fairway percentage. That's kind <laughs> of your thing I've seen. So how do you like the new driver? I really like it. I feel like it's very consistent, um, which is important to me because I am a very consistent player. I like I hit a lot of fairways <laughs> is what I'm kind of known for, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, so yeah, the driver is important to me because um, I'm not the longest hitter, but I hit it pretty straight. So that's my strength. I know the new driver is really good. Really happy with it. Is there a ball flight that you prefer with your driver? Are you a fader or a drawer? Uh, more of a drawer, mm -hmm. yeah. So I see you have the denim copper T22s. I have these as well and I love them. Walk me through your lofts and your stampings. I see you've got a lot of little details on there. Yeah, I love a little, little stamp on it. Um, yeah, so I got, this is actually a 60 degree wedge. They just didn't have the number 60, so I have a 61. <laughs> <laughs> um, hearts, because I just thought it was quite cute. Um, I have OC on here all around just because that's kind of my nickname for some people. Cute. And uh, this one I have skulls and stars because that's my weapon. <laughs> so yeah, if Dang. I have 80, 80 meters, that's the club that I feel most comfortable with. That's your golden so distance. That's the one. All right, all of these, you have to pick one club that's your favorite. Which one is it? Driver. It's the one. Easy one. <laughs> Gets all the fairways. Hits the long bombs, that's it. Yeah. You're originally from Germany. You still live there now, right? Yeah, so, well, I am actually from England. Oh, cool. So, my parents are both English, but I was born in Germany, grew up in Germany, and play for the German team. And my dad's a golf coach, so I basically had to play golf. <laughs> and, yeah, that's how I got into it. Do you have any goals for this year? Um, yeah, I think the main goal probably for me is I want to keep my LPGA card. Um, so, yeah, just play as good as I can the first few events. Um, keep status but I also want to keep my status on the LET yeah so I want to still play like both tours so there's a certain number of events you have to play on the let or yeah I think it's five okay but I've already played two and there are cool. a few co-sanctioned events so I should awesome. be okay and yeah. top 60 on LPGA keeps their card right 
Yes. And so I, that's the plan. That is the plan of attack at Good the minute. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are basically the power couple of golf right now. So how exactly did this come about and how do you like being on the back? Um, well, being on the back, I actually quite enjoy because I feel like I know Olivia's game quite well. Um, she likes to stay relaxed, so I think hopefully I can do that. And yeah, just that there, I'm, I'm obviously there through, throughout it all. So like there's no, you know, I'm, I'm here to help her and she, I think she understands that. So I think like we, it works quite well um, and it has done the last few times. And then the, um, we met at the ISPS Hander, um, what was it now, 2019? Yeah, um, quite a while ago now. Yeah. And then, yeah, we kind of met um, through the golf and like we kind of caught, um, crossed paths quite a few times that week. And then um, Olivia here decided to follow me on Instagram. We love an assertive <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, like. I made we, the first move. <laughs> And then we kind of like, well, I, you know, I made, uh, spoke you to her. You slid into the DMs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she and made it very easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we kind of, the best part about it all is we had, our, our second date was actually in the Maldives. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But so we we'd be talking for three, three months. months. Yeah. So and then, and then the, that was the first time we saw each other. I flew over to London. Yeah. And then the second time, I'm like, well, do you want to go on holiday? Yeah. <laughs> the Maldives. So, yeah. And then that was nice. Yeah. Two years down the line, I'm here. How's he doing? He gets to keep his job? Yeah, he's doing all right. See how it goes this week. Yeah. If he gets good clubs this week, he gets to keep it's his good, job. Yeah. Both jobs. If he so, wants yeah. it, it's there. So do you guys ever switch roles and you get to carry the bag for him? Yeah, I have done a couple times. Yeah, we, like I had um, an invite into the, well, he's now to the EP World. Um, and Olivia kind of was there to be on hand to caddy. So that was quite a good experience. Mm -hmm. And she's been out there a few times. So yeah, it works well. So you guys are a perfect team. Yeah. Well, some say. <laughs>